Hey guys, welcome back. So this is just a little haul video plus good news. So I'm trying not to talk too loud because my husband's in the other room sleeping. He didn't get off work till really, really late this morning. So yeah. Um, also, how do you guys like my hair this way? I don't know. I'm trying something different. I wanted it like the toss over look, but I don't know. Couldn't really achieve that. So let me know what you anyway, guys Anyway, so that. first I'm going to start off with good news. Actually, the good news will be at the later later on <laughs> okay so this is just a little haul um i just picked up a couple nail polishes because they were on sale a couple of lipsticks nothing snazzy just very very simple i thought i'd show you guys because i like to show you guys things like it on the daily whenever i do get something so oh okay so i've been searching for a good makeup wipes and i found some um first i tried the um what is it? Wipe it off by what is it? Hard candy. I didn't like those at all. I hate those uh, makeup wipes. I had to use freaking like five wipes just to take off my makeup, and that was bad. So I took them back, and then I don't know why my mouth is just so watery right now. I took them back, and then I got. Um, I was doing some research this time. I did some research, and I found some really good ones, and they're the All May. I was gonna say the Amy all my um, oil free makeup wipes in the purple packaging there's 25 palettes in here and um, it's 100% fragrance free hypoallergenic and um, they're the number one brand in America they claim um, I really really love these makeup wipes it only takes me like one or two like it takes off all my makeup in one and then the second one is just to go over it to make sure that you know all the makeup is off um, it doesn't clean your face completely. You still need to wash your face afterwards. But um, this is a really good, you know, help to, you know, feel clean and take off your makeup. Because whenever I start getting ready to cook, I like taking my makeup off. Because I hate, like, the steam from the stove and oven, you know, on my face. Oh, my gosh. It just feels like it's going to, you know, start popping with pimples. So <laughs> I like to take my makeup off um, when I come home from, like, being out all day. My husband likes to wipe his face throughout the day because he gets really oily. Wipes are really nice. Love them. They do the job, but they burn a little bit, the eyes. So be very careful when you use these towards your eyes, but they're really nice taking off the makeup. Um, and then I got these goodie headbands from Walgreens, and they were only a dollar. And you get the gray one, a copper color, and the gold one. And I'm planning on wearing these like the bohemian, you know, type of thing. I was going to do that today, but I was like, uh, my outfit doesn't match, so. Um, I got the, I know this is out of the packaging because I already used it. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara in black. Um, first time I tried this is when it first came out and I loved it. And then I wanted to go out and venture with other mascaras. And then, I don't know, I just found my way back to this one because I really liked this one when, it, when I first tried it, so. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. So I found these at Walgreens and it's a mouthwash to go. And you get five mouthwashes in here. And it's in the, um, <laughs> the flavor is Zesty Mint. Um, because, you know, you can just take it on the go when you go out to dinner or something like that. You know, your breath is still like whatever food you ate. So you can just easily wash out your mouth <laughs> instead of. Um, you know, chewing gum all the time. So this is a really nice essence. And plus, I think the gum is making my teeth more sensitive. I don't know why, because it's so strong and I ch like I chew it so much and I chew a lot. I think it's making my teeth sensitive. So I'm gonna try this and lay off the gum for a while. On to the polishes. So if you guys are wondering what's on my nails right now, it's this one by Wet n Wild, and it's I read a book. And this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Very opaque. You only need like two coats. I only use two coats on this. Um, you really only need one, but I like it really, really good. So I only used two coats. And I read a book that's by Wet n Wild. And these are on sale right now at Walgreens for 99 cents. And they're usually $1.99. So an extra dollar off. It's nice to save some money. So private viewing. Refreshment. I thought these polishes were just like a promotional thing. I didn't think they were going to actually keep these in their collection. Because if I would have known that, I wouldn't have been running around like with the chicken with the necks cut off. 
trying to find this when it first came out but so this one I love this color it's called heat wave it's like a corally like a pink corally red kind of and this reminds me of the bed it all and opi polish and i was trying to find it so i can compare the colors but i can't find it right now but um this is heat wave and i cannot wait to paint my nails this color because it's so pretty i was going to say gorgeous it's so pretty and gorgeous um i went into my toes this color but i just painted my toes so i don't feel like taking it off and doing them this so whenever we start to get some chippage i will you know do this one I got this purple one in Disturbia. It's a dark purple with a little bit of sparkles. And this is going to look really pretty in the winter time. Candylicious. It's just this um, hot barbie pink color. And then I got two lipsticks. One lipstick I got is called Don't Blink Pink. And this is so pretty. I love this pink color. It's so nice. And the wet and wild lipsticks are so opaque, I can't even believe how good quality they are. Plus, I own quite a few wet and wild lipsticks anyway, so I already knew they were going to be bomb.com, but still. And this one is Dollhouse Pink. I haven't opened this one yet. Let me open it and swatch it for you guys. I feel like this would be like a Nicki Minaj lipstick. What do you guys think? Nicki Minaj? Yeah. I don't even like Nicki Minaj anymore, so um, I just think it's a pretty pink. Anyway, so that's it with the haul. Okay, so basically, um, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys are really into following your dreams and you know doing something you really love doing then I really strongly suggest you get out there and you know hustle and you know get your name out there on whatever the thing you want to do is um I know I'm not making any sense right now because I don't know I'm, I'm feeling really slow this morning it's a really slow day for me so far um yeah <laughs> oh my gosh okay so basically um, I'm gonna start doing makeup and um, I'm really super excited about that because what I wanted to do when I was a little girl was to be a makeup artist or a model. And since the modeling thing didn't work out, I wanted to be a makeup artist. So I made me a model mayhem. And at first I had a model mayhem for the models. Now I made me a model mayhem for the makeup artists. And um, I made me one of those. And I was inspired by Montana DeLeon because she's here on YouTube as well. I'll put her link down below in the description box. Thank you so much, Montana, for, you know, being so inspirational and just keeping it real because a lot of those things you were saying in your videos, I really needed to hear a lot of those things. So I do thank you so much for, you know, ex sharing your experiences and being a word of wisdom to me. Okay, so um, I made me a model mayhem and I just put pictures of myself. I don't have any like portfolio pictures yet because a lot of times when I do makeup on people I don't take pictures before and after because I forget but um, I was contacted by this photographer and she's a really professional photographer um, and we're going to start collabing together and working together and um, yeah so we're going to be a team and I was really happy because I think the day of or the next day I put up my profile she contacted me and I was really really happy Usually she works with more professional makeup artists, but she wanted to try something different this time. So she wanted to find an immature one like myself. So she found me, and then we're going to go ahead and collab. So we have a meeting on Friday. We're going to meet and have a meeting on Friday and talk about that more. Um, and yeah, so I'm in the process of making a website for myself. And I need to start ordering me some business cards because I have a photo shoot to do tomorrow actually I have to do I'm gonna do a um, pin up makeup look on a client tomorrow and I'm so happy about that um I don't know I've just been getting all these little different jobs it's T um, time for print TFP and that means um your work you don't get paid for it but you get pictures of your work so that's a way to build your portfolio don't be like you can you can always 
you know, um, do time for print to build up your portfolio if you don't have any pictures right now. You don't always have to get paid for a job. Now, when you get better at what you do and when your skills are like, bam, like, bam, thank you, ma'am, hot, damn, then you can start charging. <laughs> But until then, you guys just, I just need to build my portfolio, so I'm going time for print. And she's going to um, pay me gas, though, because it's a while. It's a ways for driving for me. Anyways, so I have a shoot tomorrow. I'm going to do it for a makeup look, a pinup look, and I'm so nervous because I never did makeup for a photo shoot before, but besides for myself, um, I had a photo shoot one time and I did my own makeup. And um, on Ju June 2nd, I have a... Um, another uh, photo shoot to do and then on June 10th I have to do my friend's makeup for her wedding and I'm also her bridesmaid so it's gonna be very hectic anyways long story short guys I'm just wanting to tell you guys to follow your dreams because now I'm finally following mine I'm still working from home right now and I'm still following my dreams so you guys like if you really want to do something in life just pursue it put your best foot forward and go for it because you're going to be really happy in the long run and you're not going to be miserable like I am right now. Miserable. I was miserable just working this job and not doing what I genuinely, genuinely wanted to do. So um, on the side, I'm going to be doing this until, you know, it becomes like professional. Anyway, so um, with that being said, I've been buying a lot of um, essentials for my makeup kit. I bought a makeup traveling bag. It's not really a makeup traveling bag. It's just like a traveling bag, but I'm going to use it for my makeup to travel with and it's a black Beverly Hills polo bag it's huge it has a pocket right here I don't want to open it because it uh, I'll open it. it has a pocket right here and then it has it snaps back closed and then you can close it like this and then it has a huge pocket inside and then on the other side is a mesh pocket and um, it's a huge bag so I'm gonna be putting a lot of my makeup in here to travel with and um, I still need to order my foundations my um, HD foundations I'm gonna be ordering that pretty soon and then I also have another video for you guys coming up on this shirt I'm wearing um, it's from a clothing company website and I'm going to do a review on their clothing so that's gonna be the next video I'm gonna do um yeah okay so with that being said i'm sorry i'm so tired um i didn't go to sleep till late last night and i woke up really early because i'm an early bird i can't sleep in anyway sorry that i'm not so spunky and you know hecka hecka <laughs> but i'm just really tired and i really want to film a video today because i haven't filmed one in a while so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think down below and if you guys for those makeup artists out there, let me know what you guys think I should do by my nervousness and um, any tips in general you guys have for me. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and you guys will see me soon. Bye.